In this video, I want to briefly talk about Framer and uh, how you can use uh, ChatGPT in order to make uh, the website uh, workflow more easy. So as we've seen, uh, we can uh, use ChatGPT for Framer in uh, multiple ways. Uh, and uh, one of the great options about it is uh, that we can uh, even uh, add uh, custom code. So for example, we can add custom code in both uh, a specific website uh, page or in the entire website. So that being said, let's talk about ChatGPT because you can use it both for creating or validating and adjusting current custom code, but also for much, much more. So what I did here is uh, I asked ChatGPT, I'm working on a framer site and I'm wondering how ChatGPT could help add useful functionalities or troubleshoot a framer site. Give me a list of things you could help me with. And uh, at this point, uh, you're going to see all of the major high level topics. Uh, so conceptual design assistance, uh, uh, such as brainstorming ideas or exploring uh, user experience best practices. And uh, by the way, on uh, uh, my channel, I actually talked uh, in depth uh, about ChatGPT. I'm not going to go as in depth as that would require an entire course in and of itself uh, about this uh, beautiful tool. But I want to make you aware of uh, how you can use it and leverage it. So other things that you can uh, consider is uh, content creation. I personally use ChatGPT all the time for content creation these days. So even things like, you know, asking uh, what could be an SEO optimizer uh, page title or description so that you can uh, adjust it uh, over here in uh, the home page setting. You could briefly describe the page and uh, have ChatGPT create a description and uh, improve uh, the SEO performance of uh, your website. And another tool which uh, is uh, extremely useful is utilizing its copywriting and content organization features. So for example, if uh, a client sent you over a document uh, with uh, the content that needs to be added in a specific landing page, uh, you might ask ChatGPT, hey, I received this document from uh, the client uh, and uh, I'm wondering uh, how I can uh, go ahead and create a landing page out of it. Could you give me some insights about the different sections uh, and uh, how I could uh, organize the text uh, so create a, a copywriting solution for me? So this is going to be really, really useful and uh, it can save a lot of uh, time really. Other things uh, is uh, design and layout suggestions. Now, especially considering the fact that with recent integrations, ChatGPT can actually read the screens uh, in the sense that we can also add images. So I could even add an image uh, or a direct link uh, if this website is live uh, and uh, ask uh, for specific uh, improvements uh, of a specific section, such as in the hero section, we have X, Y, Z problem. Could you give me some insights uh, as to how I could uh, improve uh, and uh, bring this uh, section to a next level? And ChatGPT is going to give you all sorts of insights uh, from both a UX uh, and a usability standpoint. And of course, ChatGPT can help with uh, framework code uh, and the component help. So it can both uh, troubleshoot code, maybe you found some code uh, on the internet, uh, but there is some issues, maybe you need to tweak uh, some values in the code. You can just add the JavaScript here in ChatGPT and uh, it's going to help you debug the code and uh, see for any potential elements uh, that are going to help uh, create the connection and assist you in the process. And uh, overall, uh, it can give you also insights as to how you can uh, find a solution to a specific coding problem or even assist with the creation of customized code. So this is definitely a huge one. Other things, performance optimization. This is going to help you essentially give some insights about uh, how you can uh, speed up uh, your website. Uh, maybe there is some uh, 
uh, issues with the images or the videos and resource management in general. So it can give you an audit. Uh, interactivity and animations, helping design and implement interactive features like forms, buttons, and user trigger animations. I don't really use it uh, for this uh, particularly, but I assume there are some uh, uh, some angles that you could uh, tackle it, uh, maybe specifically for suggestions or uh, implementations of uh, some animations and transitions. Uh, I haven't really tweaked around with uh, this too much, but it can definitely be useful. Now, another really useful element is going to be accessibility improvements. So you can actually see if your website is compliant with uh, WCAG standards and uh, create accessibility checks, which uh, is going to be really important, especially as you ship a website. And then as we go further, there are going to be elements such as testing and debugging. So again, for these sections, it's uh, very straightforward to give you an example. You can uh, simply ask ChatGPT, hey, I have this website and you add the link. Uh, and uh, I want uh, you to check for accessibility uh, standards, compliance, uh, uh, and accessibility in general. And then uh, test and debug uh, the website in order to ensure that it's going to work uh, across uh, different uh, browsers. Then uh, there's all sorts of other applications that you can use ChatGPT for. Uh, user feedback and iteration. Um, as it states here, providing methods and tools for gathering user feedback on your site. Uh, haven't really used it for this one that much, but uh, I guess it can give you a list uh, of ideas. Uh, iterative design, maybe offer design on how to iterate on your design based on user feedback and analytics. That I can definitely see working, especially if you have uh, maybe a document that you can share ChatGPT with uh, so that uh, it can pinpoint what are the main issues uh, in creating that basically analyze big data. This is, is something that I haven't uh, uh, personally tackled yet, uh, but this can definitely uh, work. And also documentation. Documentation is huge. With ChatGPT documentation and just in general, um, going through big data is going to be extremely uh, easy and, and useful of a tool. So definitely keep it in mind. And also for project management, uh, so if you have uh, um, an outline of, uh, of the project and maybe you need to, to prioritize some items or figure out how you can work in teams, uh, this is definitely something that uh, can be helpful and uh, basically you can leverage uh, ChatGPT for. So this is uh, an overview of course uh, of what Ch ChatGPT can, uh, uh, can do, but my very best recommendation is to just hop on a tool and start experimenting with all of these uh, uh, different uh, elements. Start uh, by simply selecting uh, a website uh, that you can use uh, as a sample and start asking questions relevant to these different areas so that you can really get familiar as to how ChatGPT can help you and maybe what are its uh, current limitations. So you're going to be much more familiar with uh, all of the potential hours upon hours of uh, how this tool can uh, uh, help you in uh, your very next uh, site project.